Hey there everyone, it's Scott once again and welcome to another video. This time I'm going to be discussing uh, the the Cowboys lost to the Vikings. Yep, we lost this one. Um, I don't know what to say really. I mean Dak and Amari and the wide receivers came to play, but unfortunately on our offense, Zeke definitely did not, <laughs> probably had probably had his worst game, <laughs> especially at home against the Vikings. They were missing a few starters on defense, but they came to play and they stuffed Zeke. And that's no excuse. Though. I mean, we got our passing yards and whatnot, and Dak did well up until the very end where he threw that pick when he had no choice. Dak, for the most part, played well, but unfortunately, he shouldn't have tried to force it to Zeke. Uh, I feel like this is what they were trying to do. If you were going to try to, you know, run it with Zeke... You know, here's the thing. You need to be a little more creative on your running plays because I don't know if I even saw a toss on these running plays at all. I saw a lot of run up the guts um, or H-back dives and whatnot. I never saw hardly any tosses or any kind of uh, strong eye formations or whatnot. And he probably had, what, over 40 yards rushing at most? <laughs> That's purely pathetic. And the, on the third and two... I know that maybe the guy got by Frederick, but at least Zeke... I... Come on, why the fuck would you just lie down like that? That's pathetic. It's, this, is our, this is your worst game of your career right there. Or at least this season. <laughs> I guess you can say last season was against Washington, but still. In the defense, I'm... See, I cannot wait for Rob Marinelli to go. I don't know if I even want to watch another game with him coordinating the defense. I know Richard's calling the plays, but technically it's still Rob Marinelli's defense. He's probably still calling the plays based on his defense. i like to see if Rashad be given the reins to see what kind of defense he would run. Because after all, he was the one that made the, who probably urged us to get Bennett, who uh, did make somewhat of a difference. But in this game, he was uh, hardly in the backfield a whole lot. He Either he was getting pushed around or... When the, the Vikings hit us on the screens. And you know what? Kirk Cousins actually played a pretty decent game. He didn't turn the ball over like we were known to, like he was known to do. So, But anywho, in the, and Devin Cook, you know, he basically earned this one. <laughs> he had over 100 yards rushing on us, on this defense. And I wouldn't be surprised if opposing teams will start to run on us from here on out. Especially when you face the, the Rams, um... Uh, she also has some good running teams. Probably New England. They'll probably run up the gun on us and pass on us at ease. And um, I cannot wait for Rob Marley to fucking go. I'm sorry, but he needs to go. His dinosaur of a fucking scheme needs to completely go. Did not work very well at all. And um, missed tackles, you name it. Poor tackling. Couldn't look like we would ha have him stopped, stopped or stuffed, but nope. He would just keep on trucking along. And I noticed that I think it's Gary Kubiak who is the offensive coordinator, so he knew what what to do with these guys. He knew to do with he knew what to do with Kirk Cousins. He knew how to he knew how to utilize uh, Davin, uh, Davin Cook. So props to the Vikings. They came up and showed up and they won this game. We had a chance at the end and we didn't. We still had maybe a very slight, very, very small chance of getting back or at least getting a touchdown, but I mean, for the most part, he came to play, but there was a couple of times where Dak should have, you know, not try to force it to Zeke, or at least try to, or at least Kellen or whoever should have uh, doubt up the running, uh, the plas the passing plays a little better, or try to. I never. Here's the thing: I never see Olawali, the fullback, being used. What the hell's going on with that? Is is he completely extinct from you? Because now that I think about it, weren't they using the fullback a lot on Minnesota's running plays to? Get Dalvin Cook going in that other running back, number 25. Uh, he was starting to get some runs on us, too. I never even saw Olawali at all in this fucking game. What was the point of giving him a contract extension if you're not going to fucking use him? What was the fucking point of that? Just a brain-dead organization that I have to root for. I'm rooting for the players, but I'm not rooting for you, uh, Jeremiah, Mister. I know everything. Oh yeah, didn't oh yeah, didn't he say that Kirk Cousins was uh, not so clutch, and <laughs> he was actually uh, clutch f until the last you know three four minutes, but still, he actually played a pretty decent game. 
Oh yeah, and Jason Garrett, I don't know what to say about him, but you should not have allowed Maher to kick that 57-yarder. If I were you, I would have at least punted or gone for it. That's what I would have done. But no, you chose to be a fucking idiot like you always are, because you don't know how to be a fucking good head coach at all. You're very mediocre, and at best, you're very average. That's all you are. I have no idea, but you know, Jeremiah sees you as the prodigal son, so all I see is, all I see is you are the prodigal ginger savant dumbass that you are. Sorry if I can't root for you anymore, Garrett. Same with you, Rod Marinelli. Take your fucking dinosaur of a scheme with you and just get the fuck out of here. Don't ever bother calling the defense or being a defensive line. You're pretty much finished and done. You should have been gone after that fucking Rams playoff game, but... <sighs> it's the organization, the whole atmosphere, the whole country club atmosphere just allows this shit to go on. They want to cling on to certain coaches, players, and whatnot. They're just not getting it done. We didn't even force any turnovers. <laughs> so, both of you need to go. I don't know about you, Richard. Maybe if you were calling a different defense, maybe I think you should be given a chance. But even then, still, that was just pathetic. This majority of the game was on the defense. They lost this game. Because uh, they couldn't fucking tackle. They couldn't get the stops they needed. They couldn't tackle people or tackle Cook and the other running back, number 25, for a loss. So there you go. So, basically, I don't know if I would extend that, but I would definitely extend Mari. He definitely earned it. He made a lot of catches. <laughs> and Cobb actually had a pretty decent game. Gallup was okay. But Zeke, and especially Witten, they did very poor in this game. Especially Zeke. I don't know if you're even worth that money. If I were you, I'd take a pay cut next year. Because <laughs> you're not playing up to par. But to be honest, folks, I don't know when I'm going to be doing more videos of anything of sort because um, I have some ideas that I'm trying to figure out and run through my head. So um, I don't know if I'll do any more Cowboy-related stuff, um, especially since how this season's... I know we still there's still plenty of time. We're still technically ahead, but still, with the way we're playing, if we can't play this good, we can't beat good teams, we definitely don't deserve to be in the playoffs. I'm sorry. I just don't see this team really going anywhere unless if we somehow pull a miracle and beat New England, which I very much doubt. So I thought we had a chance in this one, but I was obviously wrong. So there you go. Anywho, congrats to the Vikings. They deserve this win. They're probably definitely going to be in the playoffs, you know, as probably the third seed or the fourth. Who really knows? And we'd be lucky if we even get there. So Jason Garrett, Rob Marinelli. Take your fucking dinosaur schemes out of here and just never fucking coach again. I'm tired of you. You don't fucking deserve it. Never did. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to end it here, folks. I'll definitely see you in another video, okay? Later.